Hey everyone, it's Caleb. Welcome. In this video, we're going to see how much money I earned from a video that has now 1 million views. This is my first video to hit a million views, and I think the numbers are going to surprise you. Now, obviously I didn't earn enough to retire because here I am making clickbait videos. However, I think the number is quite nice <laughs> and surprising to a lot of people because when people think of YouTubers, they have one of two ideas. The first one is that, you know, they're just multimillionaires driving around Lamborghinis. And then the other one is that, you know, they can't afford to eat Raymond noodles. And fortunately, it's it's somewhere in the middle. But when people look up cost per thousand views, they tend to think, oh, a dollar to two dollars per thousand views on a video. So a video that gets a, a million views should reasonably get one or two thousand dollars. But I'm here to say that it's actually quite more if you set things up properly. So for my C++ programming 10 hour video, we earned 6,700 some dollars. And you can see it just hit a million views. So we have a million and 22,000. We earned this much income and we also earned 20,900 subscribers, which is actually really awesome because these subscribers will actually watch new videos in the future in theory, but I don't even know if the YouTube subscription thing works because I'll post a new video and no one really watches it. So still figuring that one out. Also, what do you guys think of the setup? It's a work in progress, but I hope to have a more official studio setup here soon. I'm gonna put some junk up on the wall here, you know, work on the colors and the lighting. So let me know if you have any suggestions or tips. Now, in my opinion, 6.7 per thousand views is actually quite a lot. It's really challenging to get up to the numbers near 10. And more than likely, if you also create videos, you're somewhere in the round range of like two to three, or maybe even four or five if you're lucky. So I wanna talk a little bit about how I got this number to be higher than most people's and what I could possibly do for future videos to make even more revenue. Not that it's all about the money, but I mean, you know, it's good. It's a nice little bonus. So the first thing, this is a 10 hour video, which means this watch time is insane. We're talking 185,000 hours watched with an average watch time of 10 minutes and 54 seconds. For my content, that is just outrageous. Like my average watch time is four minutes, which is I think pretty good in the YouTube world for this niche. And it also shows the average percentage viewed. I don't really think that contributes at all. Maybe just a little bit for the YouTube algorithm, but I think overall getting a video that's long that engages people for a long period of time is the way to go. Now, the reason I was able to drive this much revenue is because I am the ad king, all right? You know, if there is an option for me to put an ad or a mid-roll ad, then I'm gonna do that. And that annoys a lot of people, but the perspective I have is I'm offering a video that took quite a lot of work onto YouTube for free. Watching the ads is basically an exchange, you know? I'll give you this video for free, you have to watch these ads. And if you compare it to something like television, you can have these five second ads that you can skip versus, you know, a three minute ad segment. So to kind of fix this problem, I offered this video ad free on my website where people can sign up in exchange for their email. They can watch the video ad free and even download that video. And that will allow them to watch the video a little bit easier. And then it allows me to get their email for my newsletter so I can send them new videos or any course announcements so I can hopefully make that lost money back. But it's definitely more valuable to get a newsletter subscriber than one view on YouTube. So it's definitely worth it from my perspective. Now with this video, I sort of had two sponsors. And it's a little weird how I had this structured, but let me explain here for a minute. This was actually a compilation of a bunch of individual videos. And on this channel, I've kind of gone away from that strategy of posting C++ tutorial one, two, three, all the way up to 100. And I'm more going towards the approach of compiling videos into one really long video, like a 10 hour video. However, this was last year and I actually had a sponsor to sponsor each one of these individual videos. So. It was a little obnoxious, but I had that sponsor in every single video for like a hundred videos. Looking back, I don't really think that's the best approach to sponsorship. And I think me and that sponsor have learned a lot in this last year because we're still working together. And I think our sponsorship integrations are much more 
uh, consumer friendly. But at the time, this was a huge opportunity and deal for me that I didn't want to pass that up. So I was like, okay, yeah, this is the way we're going to go with this sponsorship. But we didn't agree to do a C++ all-in-one tutorial like what we're looking at here. So basically what I did was I stripped out all of those ads, compiled it into one video, and then put a different sponsor on the beginning of the all-in-one video for just one video ad. And that one video ad was actually part of a package of like four or five videos with a dedicated video in there. So it's not just one video for that sponsor, but overall that sponsor that uh, that integrated for every single one of those tutorials and then the sponsorship package for this C++ 10 hour video all in all earned me $13,000. So if you add that to the 6,700, hey, we're getting close to now $20,000. Now what I think I could have done to earn even more money would be to actually offer a product. So I see these million views as, you know, a million eyeballs that could have purchased a C++ course of some kind. You know, maybe I did a video on how to get the most out of a specific editor, or, you know, maybe a course on some specific part of C++. Or I could have made this video shorter and offered a full version for some money. I don't really think it would have done as well if I cut this video shorter, so I think having it 10 hours was probably the best idea here. But I kind of wish I thought ahead and thought of something I could sell these viewers. I think if I did that right, I could have at least doubled this revenue here and earned another $6,000 with maybe just a little bit of extra work. You know, it could have just been a two or three hour really niche course that a small percentage of the viewers want, but it's really valuable and it's not something that's commonly available for free on YouTube. I've come to realize that Offering paid products can actually be a good thing for the consumers and the content creators. Because not only does it increase revenue, but it allows you to also create content that is less distracting than content that is purely viewer supported. Uh, for example, I could say, hey guys, if you enjoy this video, check out the course, link in the description, let's get started. And that could have been the advertisement instead of putting a, a sponsor in every single video or something like that. So now the extra shocking part, this is not even my most earning video. It's my most viewed video by far, but I have another video that I wanna show you guys. All right, so here's my other video, 327,000 views, and we're up to almost $8,000 in revenue. So the cost per thousand views for this video is outrageous. So. I'm excited and I've tried to recreate this with other similar style of videos. This is a Bitcoin video, but I just haven't had the same success. So I don't know if this is something you can just do and repeat. Um, it's kind of something, you know, you have to experiment a little bit. Some videos are gonna do really well. Some videos are not gonna do really well. And you can't always know which ones are gonna do well.